I'm Lee and welcome to my channel and I tried to think of a good title for this video and as I was thinking about it really any title can pretty much apply to any instance with a narcissist because it's not just one incident with a narcissist it's not just one instance it's honey it's it's a multitude of things and usually it's a lot of the same things a lot of the same instances so the title for this video is <laughs> a narcissist is a bully and a brat and i have many instances on this many uh videos previously about how he is a bully and a brat and many more to come on how he is a bully and a brat and this this person in particular is an almost 60 year old bully and a brat almost 60 years old so in this instance, okay, we have screenshots. Screenshots do not lie. And anytime he would gaslight me, oh, I never said that. You're remembering things wrong. I have the evidence right here. Screenshots, screenshots don't lie. What I said, what you said, what I said, what you said, right here. And when I would present him with this, I would get the famous words from him conversation over with i'm done talking about this i'm going to block you so when a narcissist is called out on their bs they will either give radio silence okay will not even say anything will not touch the subject or if they're called out they can't conversation over with i'm shutting you down I, I, then then they'll bully you like there's an instance where i gotta do a video on this an instance in particular that's still in my head of him verbally bullying me and then when, when that did not work he would physically physically bully me and actually I have a previous video on this of where he did uh, verbally bully me and physically bully me and I think it's called a narcissist is delusional um, yeah so the instances of him verbally bullying me oh it's like i said i really wish i would have created a folder and saved every single thing of him just being a being a bully i wish i would have done that of course i didn't so what i have now is fairly recent of things and it could fill a book. It could fill a coffee table book of uh, thoughts of a narcissist. So here, this is um, basically the um, second part to uh, the, the video, what happens when you do not like a narcissist photo. So definitely watch that video because that's just completely insane, right? So this is like like the aftermath because if I would have done done it as a whole video, it would have been like forever long, I guess. So and like I said here, this this happened all the time. This happened all the time of him just being a bully, being a brat. I mean, just and it's so funny because I remember watching him going into these rages screaming and yelling and just stomping his foot and, uh, uh, uh. and it's like it, it was literally like i was watching i mean i mean it, it it's like something come i mean it really is like dr jekyll and mr hyde something does come over these narcissists you can literally see it change i mean it's kind of scary because i always said <laughs> uh this person could go O.J. Simpson, go into a narcissistic rage and just, <laughs> yeah, I always said that and I 1000% believe in my heart and soul that, oh yeah, this person could go into a narcissistic rage and just, yeah, and even to this day, I, every time I come home late at night, I'm always, like, my heart still beats while I turn the corner and look and see is anyone standing there um is any notes left on my doorstep is any anything because like i said in previous videos when he was trying to win me over and he's leaving all of these notes and this and that and everything and then not only trying to win me over but when he went freaking psychotic and is showing up at my house and my just banging on my doors and windows 
I still, my heart skips a beat. I still look like, absolutely, because, of course, I never thought this person would go bat crap for freaking crazy. I never thought that. Just like how I thought this person would never lie to me. This person would never cheat on me. Well, you can't put anything past a crazy narcissistic person. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, everything here is constant and yeah he would you you could literally see him just it, it's like you're watching a child scream and yell and stomp his foot and oh like like he he just got told no which of course so you just get get told no you don't like that you scream you yell you stomp your foot you're <coughs> and when your words can't hurt someone then you physically put your hands on someone so either that type of behavior was how he grew up or that's just, or he is the baby of the family. So, or you were allowed to treat people that way and did not get uh, repercussions on it. I mean, you definitely cannot treat people that way, but he does, whether he thinks it's acceptable because that's all he knows or he thinks that's acceptable because he's done this to people and has never been told right from wrong i don't know that's something he needs to work out with a therapist which he chooses not to do okay so where i left off in the previous video he was angry at me that i didn't like his photo on him moving okay. which wtf okay so he said, um, no time for your stress the rest of the day. So my stress was asking him, why are you angry with me? Like, why? <laughs> I mean, why are you mad at me that I did not like your photo? And of course, he was not responding or giving me BS. And um, I said, okay. Call me whenever you want to talk to me. I told you, I'm not busting your balls, which... Yeah, just watch that video. I told you weeks ahead of time that I would help you move, which is true. I always said I would help you move. Did Never received a phone call. Never received any information prior to this moving date. Never, hey, we're going to pack. Do you want to come over and help? Or, okay, it's moving day to day. Like, I didn't receive anything on helping to move boxes, helping to pack boxes, helping to clean, hel helping to do anything. I didn't receive anything on this nothing so if you don't call and ask for my help then you don't need it um i told you weeks ahead of time that i would help you move i would help you pack i would help you do whatever needed and you never sent me a phone call asking me for anything straight up i won't be calling it's on you well obviously i'm trying to talk to you now and you're dismissing. So it, it's also like, well, narcissists do. They get off on attention. They get off on attention. And God, yeah. Okay. So I said, I told you I would help you do whatever you needed to do. And you didn't ask for anything. But you didn't. So then middle finger emoji from an almost 60 year old man. Okay. I'm, prove, I'm giving you a valid point. You never asked for my help. So why are you angry with me? Okay, so now here comes a little bullying. Okay. <laughs> what a brat. Okay. So I say, I don't know why you are so angry towards me. Like, why? Double middle finger emoji. So instead of saying, hey, Lee, this is why I'm upset with you. Or, you know, this is what really hurt my feelings. Instead of communicating like an adult middle finger emojis okay so I say well I don't know why you are so angry with me I told you I would help you pack I would do whatever you needed and you never asked for my help so I do not know why you are angry at me triple middle finger emoji so I'm sure um he broke up with me I mean it it, it was something uh, it, 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 all, it always was something. It always was something. And this is just one instance, okay? I have another video coming where <laughs> uh, 
I mean, this was an everyday occurrence. And it was also having to walk on eggshells because God forbid you say something that will anger this person. It wasn't just me. His kids, for instance, always having to walk on eggshells. Lord knows what's going to set dad off, right? And yeah, I mean, just constantly bullying you verbally, physically, constantly, and then blaming you. It's your fault. A narcissist does not take accountability for anything. And the only thing that I can say is, I mean, I've said it numerous times is I am so glad that I do not have to deal with this person, with this behavior. And I just really hope that if something like this presents itself to me again, that I'm not blinded by love and ignore all of the red flags. And honestly, I knew that they were red flags before. There were little things that I knew were red flags. But of course, when you love someone, you, yeah. So again, my heart was taking the lead over my logical brain. I mean, like, like when they say, when you're a fool in love, you really are. I mean, you just really want to believe, you just really want to believe that someone loves you, I guess. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing. Thanks guys. See ya.